Dog Soldiers Closed Captioning is brought to you by Caldwell Shooting Supplies, Precision Shooting Supplies and Accessories. This week on Dog Soldier. I'm Steve Kreiner, the Dog Soldier, and welcome to this week's show. This week, we're in Wyoming. We're going to go over and hunt with Miles Bush at Box Elder Ranch and Outfitters, and we are going to kill a gigantuous Wapit. No. Anyway, a big L. Don't go nowhere. Dog Soldier starts now. Man, I get pretty excited when I start telling this story. I love being around big elk. Um, you know, my priorities are with coyotes, but I've always wanted to elk hunt. Well, when I moved to Ten Sleep, Wyoming, I met this really tall, lanky guy named Miles Bush. He runs Box Elder Ranch and Outfitting in Ten Sleep, Wyoming, and he has big elk. With that being said, hey, you don't have to ask me twice, especially when it's in my backyard. He asked me to go elk hunting, I showed up. You are my sunshine. We're on a big bull elk hunt here at Box Elder Ranch and Outfitting with Miles Bush. I'll tell you what, we're pumped. I drove about 200 miles today. I mean, giving her heck. I'm still out of breath. We've been in such a hurry. He's like, Kreiner, I got a bullpen down and you need to get here. So we're slinging a few arrows at the target, make sure everything's good. You don't get no better than this. Good camera guys, good equipment, big elk, and a good outfitter. That's what you need. Big bull's gonna go in the dirt. Sweet. Now this first morning is awesome. It's just like elk bugling everywhere and you're seeing elk and everything's going good. And I had never been in this situation before in my life. I grew up shooting whitetails and turkeys with a bow. I was a really, really hardcore archery hunter until about 10 years ago. I'd never, I'd never elk hunted. And here I am elk screaming everywhere and I got a bow in hand. Every once in a while, he lifts his head and gives a little grunt. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one to his right. Oh, yeah, look at that yeah. bull. Okay. Miles, look at this bull. Dude, he, yeah, he's, he's in the middle. See him right there? That's that seven mark. I'm not tooting Miles Horn just because he's here with us, but this is like an elk hunt of a lifetime for me. And uh, I live out west now and I've got, I'm around elk all the time and I see good elk, but I'm gonna become an elk hunter this year, I think. I'm gonna kill one. I got Jordan Winkler behind the camera, my boy. My cameraman's a badass elk guide. Miles a badass elk outfitter. Psh, man, it's in the bag. Now this first morning is awesome. It's just like elk bugling everywhere. It's time. Miles sets us up, he moves behind us, he starts calling, we start seeing horns. Oh, Jordan Winkler, my field producer's behind me, he sees him, it's gonna happen. Well, I think it's gonna happen. This big old seven by, he decides to lay down. We go into kill mode. Miles, he sneaks up to us. Oh yeah. Okay, so what's going on? Miles called in this bull and he bedded down up there about 100 yards. 
go set on him all day or you want to try to cut the distance between these trees. We're sitting there. After Miles and Jordan and myself sit there and really talk about it and figure it out, trying to figure out how we can kill this elk, we decide to put a stock on him. We get in position, and this is where it gets good. Like, I'm going crazy. And between ADD and my adrenaline, you can't hardly hold me down. And here I am on my knees, 40 yards from an elk. He stands up. I'm just really thinking, what in the world can I do? He's got brush in the way. Why can't I shoot him? And then the elk makes a move. The elk come in and and it and sometimes things just don't happen the way they're supposed to. I mean here's the arrow. I plumb missed the bull, I guess. It just it, it happens in this thick stuff and makes a guy sick my first morning elk hunting and we're on three or four bulls and Miles did his part and I can't pull it off. I don't I don't get it. I appreciate it. I mean you did your part. It was easy, everybody be doing it. I know, I just I'm glad I didn't hit him bad. Uh, the arrow don't have nothing on it. Um, just a bad deal. I tell you what, though. You just made it smarter. Dude, you're, you're on your game. <laughs> it's that simple. I didn't do what I was supposed to do, I guess. But we got more days. We're going to keep hunting. Well, that next morning, we're hearing bugles over the mountain where we just shot at a bull the morning before. That's our bull from yesterday morning. Big in? Yep. We know exactly where they are. We're gonna make our move. Okay. Dude, they're right there. This is what we're gonna do. We'll go back up here and I can work this whole ridge and call and I'll whatever, but which way the bull comes, I'll call him to you. You guys get down in here. Okay. And get to where you got a good like 40, 50 yard shot on your left and your right. So you guys work down, and we'll go back up. Okay. And I'll just work this ridge and go. I'm just gonna go down yonder, just like right down yonder. All right. Okay. Talk, yep. Thank you. Come on. Boom! 
buddy, you did it. Did you see that, see that limb right there, dude? Yeah. That tree, he come right up through there and I let him trip over the end of that. I was drawing back slow. Yeah. And right when he tripped, I just, I leaned into it. I'm like, smoke chicken, baby, there ain't no way. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. you being here, man. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm at your place, so I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Well, let's go get him. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's go get him. I couldn't believe it. 20 yards, bugling in my face, and I pulled it off. It was one of the most awesome experiences I've ever had in my life. Now we're gonna go recover this elk. We're gonna go talk about it. We're gonna go hoop and holler. It just, it's just, it's good stuff. Trying to find the arrow. Oh, here's the arrow. I thought he cut up this way a little bit because. He went down to our right. Huh? He's right there. A dead bull is? A dead bull. Right Are you freaking joking me, dude? He's right there. <laughs> okay. Dude, he's freaking bigger than Bodacious. Oh my gosh. I walked up the elk and they're just so big. The animals are just so big and their horns are just so big. And I didn't really realize what I'd accomplished or most importantly, I didn't realize I witnessed what I witnessed. One thing about Miles and the Box Elder Ranch, there's so many elk and there's so many big bulls. And I didn't realize there's people that have hunted elk for years and still haven't witnessed what I got to witness in two days. Look at this bull. <laughs> He's got some funky stuff. Look at this. Miles, get over here. Guys, I'm Steve Crowder, the dog soldier. Thanks for watching the show. Without you guys, we couldn't be doing it. And I want to thank, I want to thank Box Elder Ranch and Miles. And there's more than Miles involved. I mean, his, his mother's cutting hay and his dad's helping him guide too. And his wife's cooking for us and his mom's cooking for us. Guys, if you want to go on a premier elk hunt, and I mean a hunt that you're going to see bulls every day and a hunt that you're going to have fun on every day and a hunt that you're going to get taken care of, Box Elder Ranch, baby. Peace out, homies. We'll be right back. Yeah. Thanks, brother. If you get a 49 tag, just call Box Elder Ranch and Outfitting. Miles Bush and his family are awesome. I've seen, I don't know how many, 350, 60, 80. I mean, these bulls that come off this place are epic. And with that being said, the coyote hunting's good too. Don't go nowhere, we'll be right back. We're gonna see if we can kill us some coyotes. You know, the elk, everything was perfect with the elk. I witnessed things in two days most people in their whole life don't witness when it comes to elk hunting. But the hunt as a coyote hunt didn't turn out to be like I wanted it to. Let's see if we can get moved in on them. Let's see if we can get them killed. We just killed a big bull elk in unit 49. We're coming off that. We took just a day or two enough to let the rain come in. Now the rain's done, we killed our bull. Let's see if we can kill a coyote. We're just gonna drop over this hill. We're gonna overlook a big bull. And, and there should be coyotes in it. There was last year, so. Cordell, when we get over here, we're just gonna drop in and sit down quick. Dude, that's why I like this FLX 500. You can run it without the remote, like right here. You don't want to walk your call out in the middle of everything. You just want to push a button and kill a coyote. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I don't know where he's at. I'm afraid to turn. There's a, there's got to be a coyote down below us here. Hold on. I just heard a coyote bark. I know it was. Okay, they're right down there. See if I can get something done with him. He's right, he's right to the right of that ditch. The ditch he just dropped in, Cordell. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try here.
Can you make it to that red dirt hill? Okay, let's go. I don't Stay just have to make a up. move. I have to get my camera guy and everything to make the move. Luckily for me, I got Cordell Turner behind the camera, and Cordell Turner's a good hunter. He's a, he's a good kid, and he's capable of making a move, and he has the eye-hand coordination it takes to pull this off. Because when we do make this move, we got to do it fast. You see him? Two ninety-seven, White Rock. You see him? Here we go. Hold on. Got him. Smoke to him, baby. <laughs> Boom. In this situation, I was reading them like music. I knew there was hills, and I actually knew the terrain. I'd hunted it a lot, and I knew if I could get to that red hill, I could get them killed. Just do whatever you can to get these called in coyotes killed. Man, what a beautiful coyote. This was the entry side. Oh, okay. Just a little blood on the exit side. He's a little bloody. Man, what a coyote. Big old female. Yeah, big old female. Big mature female. I tell you right now, this is what it's all about. You know, a dog has to be a man's best friend. That's what we are, we're best friends. And you guys are my best friends, because I'm telling you right now, without you guys, dog soldier don't happen. We're coming off killing a giant bull in Wyoming at Box Elder Ranch, and now we just waited a few days for the rain to get out of here, and we're smashing big old coyotes. I love it. And I love you guys that are along with me. But I'll tell you right now, for you guys that follow and for you guys that support me and for you guys that enjoy watching these big coyotes hit the dirt, I want to personally thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, make a move. Sometimes all you got to do is make a move to get that coyote killed. Plain and simple. Coyotes are made to kill and we're made to kill them. With that being said, listen, we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. You wouldn't believe how much we appreciate it because without you guys, we couldn't do it. And if you guys see a veteran hanging around, go say hi, go say thanks because without veterans, none of this is possible. Once again, I'm Steve Kreiner, the Dog Soldier. We'll catch you next week. Peace out, homies. Yeah, I'll just go down here and sit down, okay? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't know, you're the guy, you tell me. <laughs> okay.